In this presentation, we're going to look at how to construct a box plot in SPSS. The version of SPSS we are using is version 19, and the data set is iris.save. Now, we're going to construct two box plots. In the first instance, we're going to construct a box plot of the variable uh, sepal length, and we're just going to consider it uh, all 150 observations as a single data set. Later on, we're going to subdivide it into species, but we'll just take the simplest approach first. So let's open up. Here's Iris, uh, the Iris data set. Now, I'm only going to use this variable for this particular exercise. So, there's other ones there as well, but also later on, I'm going to use this uh, vari uh, variable here, species, where we have three types of Iris Setosa, Versicolor, and down here we have Virginica. Now, what we're going to do is go to Graph, Graphs, and we're going to click on Chart Builder here. And we'll just click OK on that. Now, so we got a library, a gallery down here of types of plot we're going to can, can, we can construct. Now I'm going to click on Box Plot, and no, for no particular reason, I'm going to click on the simple box plot. Well, it's the simplest one. Now, so uh, I can construct a uh, select one of these here and I'm going to put it on the x-axis sepal length on the x-axis uh, there sorry on the y-axis now I'm not going to use any of uh, anything here for the x-axis yet uh, at the side we have this these this element properties here I'm not going to look at that for the time being so let's click on that there we have it there there's another one I made earlier, so it just comes up like that. There is the box plot for sepal length. Now, I'm going to divide it up by category. So, chart builder, go back here again. Now, what I'm going to do is use species down here to sort of divide it up amongst the three species. So, we have category one, category two, setosa, versatile color, and all that. So, I'm going to click on that. So, we have sepal length here on the y axis and species down here on the x axis. Click on that. Here we go. So here are the box plots for the three types of um, species. So it's a sort of it gives us um, um, a, a indication of the range of each values of sepal length or sepal length for each of the three species. So it's actually an aid to compare the three, and that is it.